Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So this is my second lecture on introduction to robotics. In this video, we'll study or see about the robotic system, the different joints and links in the robot. So let's begin. The robotic system consists of these various components like base, links and joints, end effector or gripper wrist drive or actuator controller and sensor so here you can see this is the basic robot structure so i'll explain this in detail later also as you can see here this is the robot it has a ground it is fixed on the ground this is its base which is fixed on the ground so this robot doesn't move it don't have any wheels so this is a fixed robot then you have this different links this link we can name it as link 0 this as link 1 this as link 2 so this links are joined with this different types of joints so this is joint 0 joint 1 so here you will have different types of joint which we will discuss later so this is the first link or link 0 this is considered as input link and this will be the output link for this joint this will be the input link and this will be the output link so the joint is connected between two links so this is the base links and joint we saw about the links and joint then the end effector or the gripper so this is nothing but called as an end effector or the gripper here you can have different types of grippers if you attached a uh, arm attached a uh, welding machine so it will weld if you want to pick up and drop anything then you have to attach a different gripper so according to the use you have to attach different grippers then you have the wrist so this is the wrist joint where the gripper is attached so this is the robot now for the robot to work you have a drive unit and a controller so you have the drive unit you have a controller you have a microprocessor in it you have different sensors attached to this robot like proximity sensor temperature sensor different types of sensors are attached to the robot sensors are nothing but picking up the real time issues and giving the feedback to the robot so here you can see there is a feedback loop also so feedback is given from the robot and according to the controller the drive unit drives the robot so this is the whole robotic system next we saw about the links and joint here also the joint says a joint provides controlled relative movement between the input link and the output link as i told earlier this is the input link and this is the output link and joint provides control between these two a robotic link is a rigid component of the robot manipulator so this link robot link is a rigid component most of the robots are mounted upon a stationary base such as the floor so this robot is placed or mounted on the stationary base or the floor it is fixed it is not moving from this base a joint link numbering scheme may be recognized as shown in the figure so here i have shown 
the numbering of the links and joint next we'll study about the different types of joints first type of joint is the linear joint linear or the straight joint you can say the linear joint is further classified into prismatic joint also known as p joint or sliding joint so linear joint is further classified into prismatic and sliding joint now what is a prismatic joint from this gif will be able to understand in a much good way so this is one link and this is the other link this can be considered as the input link and this can be considered as the output link and between this you can see this joint 0 and joint 1 is moving so this is perfectly fit in this joint so this is how it is moving and this is moving in a linear way so this is the prismatic joint further you can see the sliding joint here if you see this is again link 1 this is another link now if i try to fit it from the top to this link this will not fit as this is a circle shape this will not go inside from this gap so this is not this will not happen so we need to move this in a sliding way so if i move this in the sliding way this will perfectly fit so this is an example of the sliding joint and this is an example of a prismatic joint so further i'll explain the linear joint in much representative way so here we have this is one link this is the input link and this line is nothing but the axis of the input link so this is the input link this is the output link so this is the another link this is the axis of the output link and here you can see the axis of the input link and axis of the output link is parallel to each other okay so this is in straight one line now the movement of the linear joint will be like this so as you can see it is moving back and forth so as you have seen the linear joint is nothing but there are two types prismatic joint and the sliding joint so this represents a sliding joint as well as the prismatic joint so this is the type or the representation of the linear joint its movement is back and forth and keep that in mind its axis the input axis and the output axis is parallel to each other next joint we will study that is orthogonal joint so here also you have the input link this is the output link the movement of the input link with respect to the output link is like this so this is the orthogonal joint the difference between the previous joint and this orthogonal joint is that the axis of the input link and the axis of the output link is perpendicular to each other so in the previous linear joint we saw that the axis of the input and the axis of the output is parallel to each other but here the axis of the input and axis of the output is perpendicular to each other and the movement is same it's like the sliding joint but the axis are perpendicular and as you can see the movement is like this next type of joint so the linear and the orthogonal joint are the one type of joint 
and next type of joint are the rotary joint rotary or the moving in a rotation format so rotary joint consists of two types it is classified into much two type that is revolute joint and the twisting joint so the difference between revolute and twisting i'll explain it so type of a rotary joint first is the rotational joint in this this is the input link this is the input link attached with a rotational joint this is the output link now the axis of the input link and the axis of the output link is parallel to each other right now this is the axis of the rotational joint this is in three dimensional this is coming out toward now the movement of the input link with respect to the output link the movement will be like this so the movement is 90 degree with the axis so these are the types of joints in the next lecture we will study more about them till then thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel see you in the next lecture